So let's walk through an example of how convertible debt actually works in practice. We'll look at two scenarios today, one where there's a cap and one where there is no price cap. As you will recall from the session on convertible debt, you're very likely to encounter the structure as part of the mint competition. It's very widely used because it doesn't require a lead investor, it's easy to understand, and therefore it's inexpensive to produce the legal documents. On the left-hand side, you'll see the typical terms that are incorporated into a convertible debt agreement. These seven terms really capture the essence of a convertible note. The first three terms are typical for any debt instrument. There's the amount that the company can raise under the note, the interest rate, and the maturity date, at which time the notes plus interest become due and payable. Interest rates are generally between 5 and 8%, and maturity dates between 12 and 24 months from the date that the notes close, depending upon when the company expects to raise an equity financing. Because convertible notes are intended to convert into equity, there's also a trigger defined, upon which the full amount of the notes plus interest will convert into equity automatically. Conversion is generally triggered by a qualified financing, which is defined in the documents by the amount of money the company raises in a future equity financing. The notes will also specify a discount on the equity price that the convertible debt holders will receive, generally in the range of 20 to 30 percent. More and more often you'll see a price cap specified in the agreement. The price cap protects the debt holders in the event that the company raises money at a much higher valuation than they expect in an equity financing. Finally, the notes will typically specify what happens in the event the company is sold while the notes are still outstanding. Usually the note holders will get a multiple of their money, between one and a half and three times, or the ability to convert to common shares at the price cap. So let's talk through a specific example to see how these terms work. In our example, angels are loaning $500,000 to the company in a convertible note with 5% interest at a 20% discount. To keep the math simple, we're going to assume the company currently has 5 million shares outstanding. Exactly 12 months from the close of the notes, the company raises $2 million from a venture capital investor in a Series A preferred equity financing at a $5 million pre-money valuation. Since the company has 5 million shares outstanding, the $5 million valuation translates into a $1 price per share. Because one year has elapsed, our angels have earned 5% interest on their 500000 or 25000 so the amount that will convert into the note is 525000 The new investors are paying a dollar per share, but the angel investors get a 20% discount on that price, so they convert at $0.80 cents per share. So their $525,000 purchases 656,250 shares of the Series A preferred. So here you see the cap table after the close of the Series A preferred. Here are the common holders with their 5 million shares that were originally outstanding. Our angel group has purchased 656,250 shares based on their discount and their interest accrued. And the venture capitalist invested $2 million at a dollar per share. So as you can see, our angels own 8.57% of the company. So let's look at how these calculations are affected by price cap. We've modified our example to add a price cap of 3.75 million. When you divide the cap by the 5 million shares outstanding, that translates to a 75 cents per share price cap. When the automatic conversion occurs, the angels pay the lower of their discount on the Series A price, which we calculated to be 80 cents per share, or their price cap of 75 cents per share. So with the cap, the 525,000 in principal plus interest purchases 700,000 shares of Series A, and our angels own 9.09% of the company. We kept the math simple in our example, but the same principles apply to any convertible note. Feel free to post any questions you might have to NovoEd or check in with your Mint Advisor.